Today's video is brought to you by Audible. Go to audible.com slash Sam Beckman or text Sam Beckman to 500, 500 to get a free book and a free 30 day trial. So here we are, it's the 1st of April 2019, which means yes, it is April Fool's, but we've also got 10 fresh applications to check out in today's episode, and that is absolutely no joke whatsoever. So without further ado, let's get started. So until we have a screen recording function built into Android natively, we'll always need to go to the Play Store to satisfy this need. And the Minimal Screen Recorder app is a new unreleased screen recorder, which is pretty much my favorite option to do so at the moment. So as the name suggests, this is just about as minimal and clean an app as you can get. It's very Material Design 2.0 inspired, which is great. And all you get is a big fat record button and a list of previous recordings, and that's really it. You can dive into the settings and modify some options such as recording behavior, video quality, and controls. And to be honest, I really do enjoy how simple this app is. It can be a little buggy from time to time, so keep that in mind, but I still reckon it's worth checking out. I'm always on the lookout for a neat live wallpaper application, and lately I've really been enjoying the approach that the Forest Live Wallpaper app takes with its live wallpapers. The app uses your location information to present you with an animated yet relaxing live wallpaper environment filled with trees blowing in the wind, clouds moving in the sky, as well as real-time dusk till dawn environment changes. It looks super clean and visually appealing, and there are quite a few customizations that you can tweak within the app as well. If you're someone who is in need of dialing back how much you use your phone, then a unique way to do that is by using the ultra minimalistic Less Phone Launcher. So the MO of this application is that it's a launcher that doesn't let you do anything. And at first hearing that does sound a little bit ridiculous, but if we're honest, we could all do with a little bit of a phone detox from time to time. And this launcher will help with exactly that. It lets you set up three custom app shortcuts, which you can go back and customize later on, but that is it. No access to other applications, meaning you'll hopefully spend a little less time looking at your screen. If you're looking for an authentic, vintage way of taking and editing your images, then look no further than the aptly named 1998 cam. The idea of this app is that it lets you take photos with a range of different filters and overlays and then processes them to give each a really unique and retro look, pretty much like they're being developed from a disposable camera. So aside from the different film filters and color effects, the photos themselves end up with a whole heap of dust and grain particles, light leaks, and of course, an authentic looking date stamp. And whilst you wouldn't wanna be using this filter all the time, it certainly is a really interesting way to approach taking photos. Right, so believe it or not, with all the customization and top apps videos I do on my channel, there are times when I'm in need of a serious purge of unused applications. And one tool that does the job perfectly is UnApp. It's a super simple app where you literally just check any application you no longer want installed on your device, tap the uninstall button, and that is it. The app then triggers the process for each of the selected applications, meaning you do still have to confirm the uninstall for each app, but it still saves mountains of time, and it's now a must have app on my phone. So before we press on with the next app, I wanted to quickly give a shout out to today's video sponsor, Audible. For me, one of the best ways that I've found to fill that curiosity void in my busy life is by listening to audiobooks. Not only is it super engaging, but what makes it great for me is that I can multitask whilst listening, which suits my lifestyle and work habits perfectly. So lately, I've been listening to The Future of the Professions by Richard and Daniel Susskind. It's all about how technology in the future will transform the world as we know it today, particularly when it comes to jobs. And it's a super fascinating read if you're into technology, definitely worth a listen. And it's actually an Audible original as well, which means you can't hear it anywhere else. So go to audible.com slash Sam Beckman or text Sam Beckman to 500, 500 to get a free book and to start your free 30 day trial today. So there are thousands of amazing wallpapers available on Reddit, but to be fair, I just really don't have the time to look through them all. And so Red Papers is an application designed to help. The design of the app itself is somewhat simplistic and does leave a little bit to be desired, but you simply input a Reddit feed, set up how you want the post sorted, and from there, the app will cycle through images and wallpapers found on those particular feeds. You can change the cycle duration and there are a few additional customizations available within the app settings as well, but it's surprisingly reliable at finding a super neat wallpaper from your favorite Reddit feeds. If you're someone who drives a car, then Drivo is a car management and fuel log application that makes it super easy to plan out when you'll next need to fill up. You start by entering your car's make, model, and fuel capacity into the application. And then from there, the next time you fill up, you register where you filled up, your odometer reading at the time, and how much the fuel was. After that, the app will calculate when you next need to fill up, which means you're able to plan it out and ensure you're somewhere with the cheapest prices. 
There are heaps of other features within the app as well, too many to go into now, but for staying on top of your car, this app is worth a shout. Let's face it, the amount of time we spend performing repeated actions or swipes on our phones each and every day can become a little bit draining. And so an app designed to up our productivity is Fuview. The app is basically a floating button that lets you perform just about any custom action or launch into any app you like. And that's what makes it so convenient is that it is ready within just a single swipe. No more swiping into the app drawer or searching for a particular setting. This app can make all of that available with just the touch of a button. There are some refinements that I'd like to see in regards to its design, but it's definitely a useful app nonetheless. So the fact that you're here watching a video with app recommendations leads me to believe that the application Dripler would be one definitely worth checking out. The app basically takes your phone, assesses it, and then presents to you a feed filled with app recommendations and articles designed to improve your smartphone experience. The app itself has a pretty clean design and UI as well. So if these monthly videos aren't enough for you, then this app is perhaps your next best option. And finally today, more and more phones have been getting their own iterations of a digital well-being or screen time equivalent feature, but there are still heaps of devices that are missing out. My new favorite third-party app that provides this service is Action Dash. This is basically digital well-being, but for any device. It looks and feels very much the same, but to be honest, that is great because it fits right in with the modern Material Design 2.0 language established by Google last year. That will help you assess how often you use the different applications on your phone, which means you can develop a solid understanding of where there might be a need to scale back usage. It's a super useful feature, and if you don't have it yet, then this app is definitely worth getting. And with that, that is it for this episode. As always, each and every single app featured throughout the video will be linked down in the notes below. So don't forget to check them out. And if you enjoy videos like this one, there are heaps more on the channel. So check out the playlist linked here or down in the notes below as well. If you like what you see, make sure you hit subscribe as well as that little notification bell. So you stay notified for whenever I release a new video. But aside from that, that is it. Thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.